right. Visitor. Who am I going to visit? Am I going to visit my grandma? Hopefully. I mean, hopefully not, actually, because my grandmother's dead. So, um, that would be a, uh, a hell of a, um, messy experience. And I'm not really dressed for, um, dear thing of grave. That's a, that's an absolutely beautiful river. Very nice sound design. It would be nice if the uh, skybox was a, a moving one, for the sake of the uh, wind blowing the clouds through the skies. That would be sort of cute. But you can't have everything, particularly when you're barely tall enough to even look over the edge of a bridge. But never mind. Oh, that's nice. If you don't mind, I'm just going to stand here for ten seconds and enjoy these, um... Enjoy these uh, peaceful sounds, because I've just been through about four other games. Um, I'm having a sort of a medieval day, playing loads of medieval games, and um, all of them thus far have been really, really rubbish. But here's a big sword with which I can stab anybody else that wishes to come along and make a game that is rubbish. Here is another sword with which I could do a bit of stabbing. Um, but, uh, yes. I don't know very much about this game, other than apparently it is very, very short, but. Um, People seem to like it, and uh, it has a sword in it, which is very exciting. And thus far, it looks very beautiful. I spy another sword there, a sword I mistook for an arrow at first. It almost seems as if this town has been attacked. Um, some sort of vicious viciousness has been going on around here. Any vicious viciousness happened in here? All the shelves have been knocked down, and someone locked the door behind me, which is impressive given there's no lock, there's not even the door handle. It's quite impressive that they've managed to do that. I underestimated the ingenuity of the local folks. To the blacksmith of Burton, it came to the king's attention that you have resumed excavation of the sealed mine. This is a direct order from the king to cease all mining activity and collapse the entrance immediately. The courier will remain at Burton for seven days to ensure that you follow the king's orders. And the cat makes strange noises in the corner. If on the seventh day no news has returned of your compliance, His Highness will dispatch an armed force to seal off the mine and punish you and Burton for your transgressions accordingly. We await news of your actions, says Mr. Scribbly's signature. Right then. Well, somebody had an ear bleed, didn't they? Probably from having a big sword impaled into the side of their head. And somebody else had a knee bleed. One presumes again, possibly from having a sword impaled into it. Or maybe a big bear came through. It's difficult to tell. I'm not very good at these sort of investigative games where you've got to um, try and um, try and solve a mystery. Is that loads of more blood in there? It looks a little bit shiny, which implies it might be a liquid. So uh, that's my best guess at this moment. So um, that's nice. That's quite simple, but that's quite nice. And it's very different from the way that most people do fire, so it looks unique as well, which is lovely. Um, which is a very difficult thing to do in this such a saturated market as we um, as we find ourselves in. Goodness, that was very nice. I like that. That was a very nice touch. Um, very nice indeed. All right, so that letter was uh, sent to the blacksmith. So it makes sense it would be here, given this seems to be the blacksmith shop, where he makes axes and hammers and tongs. Presumably, um, for castrating horses, looking at the size of that one. Um, some little iron ingots, we can steal them at the beginning of our uh, Skyrim playthrough. Right, can I read this note, please? Thank you. For the residents of Burton, news of the courier's disappearance has troubled the king greatly. In his absence, the king can only assume that your blacksmith has failed to comply with his demands. By the time we receive this notice, a small armed force will have been dispatched and will arrive during the week. They will collapse the mine, and any who obstruct the king's men will be executed. Oh, okay, I was, I was expecting you to say that you were going to murder everybody, but that would be a little bit weird to send a message forward, wouldn't it? Like saying, I'm going, I'm going to wipe out the entire existence of your town, but um, consider this as like three days' notice. But then surely everyone's going to run away, and then you won't be able to murder anyone. I don't know. I don't understand kingly stuff. I don't have blue blood. I, I barely have any, any brains at all. So um, don't you worry about none of that. All right. Presumably, this is the mine that I've heard so much about. Can I go and um, defend? It from the invading forces of mischief. Can I have this light, please? Kitty, I wish those prompts would stay a little longer. 
Alright then. I have my torch. I have my sword. And I have grossly over underestimated the uh, the physical prowess required to deal with this little situation I've got myself entombed within. No pun intended. Oh dear. Oops. It would appear I've rather screwed everything up. Ah! And that's that. Well, that was very nice. I really rather like that, actually. Um, very pretty, very simple. Nice and simple story. But, um, it, um, it does the job quite nicely. Despite, um, despite the fact that I was thoroughly thrown off the scent by the notes. I thought we were actually going to be fighting, like, normal people with swords. And, like, defending the town to protect, like, um, our family who had gone to hide in the mine or something. But, um... No, it seems that the uh, king had very good reason for keeping that mine shut. So, um... Another thing I love about this game is when you're finished, it brings you back here to the menu. It doesn't take you to the uh, desktop, which is lovely. It makes a lovely, lovely change. I'm so sick of games doing that. But, um, yeah. I really like this. Uh, I wish there was a bit more of it, really. Um, and interesting also that it lets you pick up a sword, which doesn't seem necessary. But I always like a game that can kind of throw you off the trail of what's actually going to happen and make you think there's going to be combat when really there isn't. So, um, that's nice. I rather enjoyed that.